Yeah, good. So my name is Ram, and they gave me the last slot only because I don't have much to say. <laughs> so they said, what I must rather do is come and entertain everybody. <laughs> After you've been sat here and you listen from Vanessa with all the sentimental uh, discussions <laughs> and all the real uh, issues and all the issues that were addressed throughout this whole program, this whole year, I too have those issues, but I'm going to take a different tack. Through this program, what have I learned? I've learned that I must respect everybody. I've learned that I must be dignified. And I've learned that you, or I ask of you, and now that you know that I respect you, <laughs> please allow me to take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, so jokes aside. Uh, yeah, I need to apologize on behalf of uh, Vosi Hardy. He calls himself Vosi Hardy. He's a principal of um, in Ponseng um, uh, Secondary School out in uh, Katlahong. And he dearly liked to be here, but I think the reason why he's not here, Anita, is only because we gave him the task of preparing the board. <laughs> so, so, so the reason is he, he didn't have the time to prepare the board, and therefore we said, no, okay, I might as well not come. So therefore, you see, if we, if we are boardless, it's because of CR. <laughs> okay. Jokes aside, when Robin Whittaker came to Standard Bank, Kim Holmes and I were in that, um, in that session. She mentioned a guy called Craig Polkinon. Craig Polkinon invited a few people to this, uh, to this whole session in one of our fancy boardrooms, uh, Mel, in, uh, in Standard Bank. And, and we got there, and Robin Whittaker did her level best to try and convince everyone that this is a program to be on. Not realizing that she had this big, bald-headed bloke with big brown eyes sitting in the room there, and he raised his hand immediately. I want to be part of this program. I want to be part of this program. And, he, and my boss wanted to know, geez, what happened to this fellow? He's as fussy for this as everything else. And I said to myself at the time, and you can speak to all the Symphonia crowd, you can speak to Robin Whittaker. And I said, there's three things I want to achieve out of this program. Only three things. One was, you see, we come in this big glass tower in Rosebank. We work in Rosebank, this big glass tower, and we know it all. We know how to manage a business. We know how to manage a big business. We know how to manage a sales team. We know because we are thought to use models. We are thought to use outside interventions. And we are thought to use people from learning and development. So we can go down this line and say this is what we know, we are great, we are great leaders, we know how to lead teams. So I wanted to know, so we were quite equipped to that. But I wanted to know, the first thing I wanted to know was, how do you lead in the community? How do you lead in the community? Because we lack that. From the commercial world, we lack that. We have no idea. So that's the one thing I wanted to learn, want to do out of this program. The second thing I wanted this, uh, out of this program was I too was enthusiastic and I wanted to share with the principals. I wanted to share with the principals all those fancy theories, the learning and development interventions. I want to share with, with them, share with the principals. How do you manage your own teams? Because you too, as Vanessa said, you're not a teacher anymore. You're a facilitator in great difficulty confronted with serious challenges. So I said, how do I contribute to that community? The principals, the management teams, so that we can take it down to the lower levels. So that's the second thing I wanted. And the third thing I wanted was really and truly, Robin Whittaker will tell you. The third thing I wanted to was to make a difference. Was to make a difference. Have I achieved that? Have I achieved that? That's the burning question. You ask me <laughs> when we were having tea, have I achieved that? Boy, did I, it was a baptism for me to realize how <laughs> difficult it is to manage in the community. I mean, there's parents, there's kids, there's child-headed child households. There's lack of resources. 
There's unions. There's multiple unions in the schools itself. There's a parent body. And there's my man, Volsiardi. Oh, that's man. Oh, I love him to bits. It's a pity he wasn't here. I love him to bits. How he was able to manage that community and become and turn that insane secondary school into a success. It is beyond belief. Beyond me. You see, because we had the teaching. We had the interventions. They didn't. They learned to live. They learned to manage. Okay? And you learn to accommodate. We don't have that. We just pull out the whoop. I want it done, and I want it done by 12 o'clock today. Mm. Simple as that. And it gets done. Why? Because the boss is asking. How different it is. So I've learned to, to, to understand that leadership is not about one-way traffic. It is about a multitude of community-based organizations and different mindsets in that organization. That's the first thing I learned. Was I able to make a difference? I tried to. I tried to. I'm sure Vosiad appreciated that. And he patted me on the back. I'm sure he did. But he'll tell you differently. We tried to make a difference. Successful? Yeah. Successful. But not to the extent that the community, that the schooling system requires. Not to that extent. So therefore, I too, like my man Brian, will continue this journey with Vosiadi. Because, not because I want to, because I think it is so important to do so. It is so important to do so. And then the other community that we got in the side there, Vanessa and Mal and so on, that we're also having private arrangements ourselves. <laughs> How can we make a difference? I, sh I guarantee you we will. <laughs> hey, Niels, we will. We partners. We partners. <laughs> and the third takeaway for me was, the third takeaway for me was, Kim will tell you, and those in our group will tell you, that, whoa, there comes the loudmouth. He is full of the sanctimonious battle. You can get it coming out of him. He'll, they'll tell you that that's me. But one thing I've learned through this program, and this group of ours told me straight, like Brian. Yes. They told me straight, hey, keep quiet. Yes. You're talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> right? I appreciated that. <laughs> so the third thing I took away from this program, personally, I learned to listen. I learned to listen. Like I always say, Brian. Hey? Like I always say, Brian. You learn far, far, far more when you listen than when you talk. So those are the three takeaways for me. What about my man's Volsuhadi? What about him? What did he take away? Yeah. I'll tell you what he took away. He took away a lifetime partner. He took away a beautiful friend. He took away a person that he can phone on the weekends, he can phone any time and say, hey, I need this, I got trouble with that, I need that, and I need that. And he took away the biggest thing, hey Brian, the biggest thing he took away was, don't waste your time with that big bald-headed bloke, rather talk to his PA, because then you'll get the message quickly. <laughs> so he developed a fabulous relationship with, uh, with Leonie May in our office. Do I walk away from this program? I, I, I don't see fingers, so I know I've got time. I walk away from this program. I walk away from this program with a few things. One, that I too developed a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friend in Vosia. I wish you could meet him. Those of you who know him, I wish you could meet him. He's in a different class. He's in a different class. So I took away a good friend. I took away the fact that there is this dichotomy in our lives. That we too need to ensure from a corporate world, 
we have more than a corporate social, res a corp a corporate social responsibility. We have far more than that. What is it that we do to close that dichotomy? That's what I take away. And I'm saying to myself, there's unfinished business. A seriously unfinished business. And the third thing I took away is, my goodness, this group of ours, where are they? Raise your hands, please raise your hands. <laughs> this group of ours, we have become so good friends. We have become family. We, I can see that, uh, that WhatsApp group goes well. <laughs> and we enjoy it. I know I don't participate. The only reason I don't participate in the group is because I've got Kim to remind me what to, uh, what to uh, participate in. I think we have walked away, we have developed such a beautiful relationship amongst ourselves that we remain friends and long may it last. Even when you go to Cape Town, my mate. Thank you. Mm. Even when you go to Cape Town, don't forget us. By the way, did you know they're pumping water already? Did you see? Did you see? Yeah. Did you see? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pumping water yeah. already. I drank some of it. Did you? Yeah. Hey, that's my man. <laughs> hey, that's my man. Uh, yeah, so I take away I take away the camaraderie, the friendship we built in this whole program. And I think that's so important. And the message that I leave, I like to leave with all our principals and our friends. The message that I like to leave with you. I have a minute, and that is. What? And this has come from the good book. I hope so. What? As principles, what lie behind you? And what lie ahead of you? Pales into insignificance to what lies within you. Yeah. Only you, as principles, have made difference in our community. And all we can do is be there to support you and help you. Thank you. So now you guys understand why I asked you to speak last. I'm going to go out with the bag. I just want to add something if I may. Respectfully. Um, and that is the, the change that I've seen in Siadi from the time that he started with the program and how the relationship with Ram and Siadi has benefited both of them. Um, you know, when, when you have a business leader in your group that is so extremely busy that you wonder where will he ever get a minute, but he's there at every COP meeting, just about every COP meeting, he is faithful when I ask for, okay, so when is the next coaching session? He tells me I've only got 20 minutes and then we end up speaking for anything between 45 and an hour. Um, you know, when we talk about this is the model and theory you and having to immerse yourself in relationship and getting to understand the, the, the issues of the school before you start planning and execution. And Ram then goes ahead and he, he does something and that is like deliver goodies at the school. But the one thing that I realized afterwards, something that Siadi said to me, he said, you know what, I've spoken to many people who've make, made many promises. And this man I tested. And when he delivered, when he actually did as he said, I knew I could trust him. And that's when the relationship started. So sometimes we can't just squeeze every, um, not sometimes, we can't squeeze any of the partnerships into a box. We can provide guidelines. But what they make of it, and what all of these beautiful partnerships made of it, was basically a coming together of two beautiful individuals around the issues and the problems at a school, and they made it work. So each and every one of these people's journeys were beautiful and I hope and trust that it will carry on and produce even more beautiful results. So I'd like to invite all of them, everybody that's here from the circle to please come up and stand in front here with me um, so that um, Jonathan and Malise and wife can, um, and, and also, um, sorry,
Moira, sorry Moira, I can take some photos and so on. And I've also got some certificates to hand out, but I'm just... I just want to say please to... And I just want to say to everybody in my circle, thank you so much for being such a wonderful crowd of people and for just making this journey a lot of fun. Thank you very much. If anybody wants to find out more about the program, whether you're here as a business leader or a principal, there are Symphonia people here at the table in the corner there. You've got Dino, we've got Irma, we've got Lubo, we've got um, Carol, who works with, um, with the principals. There are quite a few more of the Symphonia people here. Please speak to them, please get involved. Um, we would really love to attend your celebration event in a year or so from now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you were like in another little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought I don't know.